argon diagram and modulus. Complex number Z as A plus BI can be represented in a plane as a point P with coordinate AB. The X coordinate represent the real part of the complex number while the Y coordinate represent the imaginary part of a complex number. The plane on which a complex number is represented is called the complex number plane and the figure represented by the complex numbers as point in a plane is known as an argon diagram. The diagram below shows the complex number Z represented as a point P with coordinate AB in the argon diagram. In this argon diagram, X axis represent a real part and the Y axis represent the imaginary part of a complex number. For Z equals to A plus BI, we have A as the value of the real and B as the value of imaginary part. And point P with the coordinate of AB. We make a line of OP represented a complex number Z. The length of OP is modulus Z or denoted by R and the angle of OP to the X axis is theta or the argument of Z. Then, the modulus of a complex number Z is defined as the distance from the origin to the point P. Modulus of Z or the length of OP as denoted by R is given by the formula the square roots of A squared and B squared. The argument of Z or theta is given by the formula tangent inverse B over A. The interval of theta is from negative pi to pi, which is called the principal argument. Argument of Z is the angle measured from the positive x axis either in an anticlockwise or clockwise manner. Now we look at the example. Represent the following complex number on argon diagram and find its modulus and argument. For example, A, Z equals to 2 plus 4i. To represent Z on argon diagram, first we draw the X and Y axis. Identify the value of real part, which is 2, and the value of imaginary part, which is 4. We make a line. So this is our Z on argon diagram. Now to find the R or the modulus of Z, we use the formula square roots of A squared plus B squared. In this case, we have 2 squared plus 4 squared. We have Z 20. Now to find the argument or theta, we must look at the argon diagram and we identify that Z is on the first quadrant. Then the formula for theta would be tangent inverse 4 over 2. By using calculator, we have 1.11 radian. Please take note that the unit of theta must be in radian. Example B, Z equals to 3 minus 5i. To represent Z on argon diagram, we first draw the x and y axis. The real part is 3 and the imaginary part is negative 5. So this is our 
Z on our Gun diagram. To find the modulus Z, we took the square roots of 3 squared plus negative 5 squared and we have set 34 and to find the argument we may look at the argon diagram and we can see that z is on the fourth quadrant so the formula for argument is negative tangent inverse 5 over 3 the formula would be negative because uh, the interval for argument is from negative pi to pi and I'm using positive 5 instead of negative 5 over 3 because we want to make sure that the angle is an acute angle so by calculating this we have negative 1.03 radian example C Z equals to negative 2 plus 5i first we draw the X and Y axis the real part is negative 2 and the imaginary part is positive 5 so we have Z on argon diagram. To find the modulus Z, we took the square roots of negative 2 squared plus 5 squared and we have Z 29. To find the argument, We always look at the argon diagram and we can see that Z is on the second quadrant. Since the argument is from negative pi to pi, then the formula for the second quadrant is pi minus tangent inverse 5 over 2. We calculate the tangent inverse, we have 1.19 radian and the final answer is 1.95 radian. And for example C, Z is given as negative 3 minus 4i. First we draw the x and y axis. The real part is negative 3 and the imaginary part is negative 4. So we have Z on argon diagram. And for the modulus of Z, we took the square roots of negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared and we have set 25 or equals to 5 and for the argument we may look at the argon diagram and we can see that Z is on the third quadrant since the interval of argument is from negative pi to pi, the formula for the third quadrant is negative pi minus tangent inverse 4 over 3. We use the positive value 4 over 3 because we want to have an acute angle. Then by calculate the tangent inverse we have 0 0.93 radian 
and the final answer is negative 2.21 radian. So as a conclusion, the formula to find an argument of a complex number is depend on the quadrant. On the first quadrant, the argument is tangent inverse B over A. On the second quadrant, pi minus tangent inverse B over A. On the third quadrant, negative pi minus tangent inverse B over A. On the fourth quadrant is negative tangent inverse B over A. Polar form of complex number. Let's we have a standard form of a complex number as A plus BI, where A and B is element of real number, be represented by the point P on Argan diagram. From the diagram below, we can conclude that A as R cos theta and B as R sin theta. Then, by substituting these two equations into the standard form of complex number, so we have Z as R cos theta and plus I R sin theta. Then, by factorizing R, we have the formula of polar form of a complex number Z as R cos theta plus I sin theta. The polar form of a complex number is another way to represent a complex number. Now, we look at the example. Write the following complex number in polar forms. For example, A z equals to negative 2 plus 2i. First, we need to find the modulus z. So we took the square roots of negative 2 squared plus 2 squared. So we have z8. So in order to find the argument of z, I highly recommend that you first draw the z on Argan diagram. So the real part is negative 2 and the imaginary part is 2. So we have z. From form Argan diagram, we can see that z is on the second quadrant. So the argument or the formula of argument is pi minus tangent inverse 2 over 2. So we have here pi minus pi over 4. So the value of argument is 3 pi over 4. Then we substitute the value of r and the argument on the polar form. So z as formula for a form is r cos theta plus i sin theta. Then by substitute the value of r and theta, we have z8 cos 3 pi over 4 plus i sin 3 pi over 4. Now, for example, B, we have Z as 3 plus I. So, to find the modulus Z, we took the square roots of 3 squared plus 1 squared. 
So we have set for all equals to 2. And in order to find the argument, we first draw the Z on argon diagram. The real part is set 3 and the imaginary part is 1. So we have Z on the first quadrant. So the formula for argument on the first quadrant is tangent inverse 1 over set 3. So we calculate this and have pi over 6. Then the polar form of a complex number z is by substitute the value of r and theta. So we have 2 cos pi over 6 plus i sine pi over 6.